strangulation with a Fulton sector flake. Does this remind you of anything? Why, of course you recognized him. It's Adenoid Hinkle, the Fui of Tomania. Captain. I bet you recognize him too. It's Charlie, the wonderful, the extraordinary Charlie Chaplin. By a strange trick of fate, the ruthless dictator and Charlie resemble each other like two peas in a pod. Except that while Adenoid Hinkle makes millions of people tremble, Charlie makes them die of laughter. And now for the other great characters in our story. Benzino Napoloni, the dictator of bacteria. Here is Field Marshal Bismarck Heading, Hinkle's right hand. Herr Garbage, his left hand. And finally, the little barber. And Hannah, the lovely, brave Hannah. charges. Fourteen counts of murder. She no sooner married him than she disappeared off the face of the earth. Monsieur Verdot? Captain Bonheur. This is Monsieur Vanney. I wonder how long he's going to keep that incinerator burning. Sky and sun, a dream. You've had such beautiful. It's in your eyes. Inspiring moments to Not an easy task for a man of my age to make a living. That's just it. He's a blue beard. Ah, there he is. That's him. <gasps> no. the doors? Early this evening. Watch your kitchen window? Don't worry. Everything's attended to. Well, did you? Yes, my dear. And now for the experiment. This, Your Majesty, is Rupert, our young editor. How do you do, Rupert? How do you do? Sit down. And what's that you're reading? Karl Marx. Surely you're not a communist. Do I have to be a communist to read Karl Marx? Rupert. That's a valid answer. Well, if you're not a communist, what are you? Nothing. Nothing? I dislike all forms of government. But somebody must rule. And I don't like the word rule. Well, if we don't like the word rule, let's call it leadership. Leadership in government is political power. And political power is an official form of antagonizing the people. What magazine did you say he edits? A commentary on current events. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, Ambassador. But, uh, my dear young man, politics are necessary. Politics are rules imposed upon the people. In this country, rules are not imposed. They are the wish of all free citizens. Travel around a bit. Then you'll see how free they are. Yes, but you didn't let me finish. They have every man in a straitjacket. 
And without a passport, he can't move a toe. But if you'll allow me to... In a free world, they violate the natural rights of every citizen. But you don't let me fool you. They have become the weapons of political despots. Yes, but may and I... And if you don't think as they think, you're deprived of your passport. Will you allow me to... To leave a country is like breaking out of jail. Yes, And but... to enter a country is like going through the eye of a needle. But Am you... I free to travel? Of course you're free to travel. Only with a passport. Will you allow me to say something? Only some... with a passport. Do animals need passports? <laughs> Have you finished? It's in Congress that in this atomic age of speed, we are shut in and shut out by passports. If you'll shut up and let somebody else talk... And free speech, does that exist? No, you've got it all. And free enterprise. We were talking of passports. Today, it's all monopoly. All right. Now, will you... Can I go into the automobile business and compete with the auto trust? If I can get in a word... Not a chance. Can I go into the grocery business and compete with the chain stores? Will you shut up? Not a chance. Monopoly is the menace of free enterprise. As I look back 60 years ago... Where were you 60 years ago? He was a glint in his great-grandfather's eye. Very well now. Have you finished? Now let me say something. Let me tell you how wrong you are in the first place. <laughs> in the first place... Now I've forgotten what I wanted to say. still a name to conjure with. You're mistaken. Today it means nothing. You and me, together. Desire is the theme of all life. I do. I also hate the sight of blood, but it's in my veins. I can't do that. Oh, yes, you can. I'll show you. There. Isn't it wonderful? I think dancing stimulates conversation. Wasn't it Aristotle who used to walk and lecture around the Lyceum and talk of the soul? Their daddy says he never had a clear idea of what the soul is. But daddy has. He says the soul is desire and that the whole of life is desire. I think it's a wonderful idea. Well, if you can't shimmy, we'll just dance all the way. in the immortality of the soul. Well... Daddy does. He believes that when we die, our souls go on until they're reborn again through love. Love? You don't believe in love? Well, I... Uh... Daddy does. He loves everybody except the communists. <laughs> You're in the diplomatic service, aren't you? Yeah. How boring it must be to be diplomatic to everyone. But you're ambassador to Arabia, aren't you? Yes, sir. Have you been there before? Oh, yes, sir. Do tell me about it. I adore Arabs. Well, the Arabs are very... Quite interesting. a crowd tonight. You never suspect that most of them have been seasick. One passenger has been confined to her cabin ever since we left Hong Kong. Her empty chairs next to mine in the dining room. I'm so intrigued to see what she looks like. Why 
Is my heart so light? Why are the stars so bright? Why is the sky so blue since the hour I met? Thank <laughs> you. 
flowers are smiling bright, smiling for our delight, smiling so tenderly for the world, you and me. I know why the world is smiling, smiling so tenderly. It hears the same old story through all eternity. I can't. 